Hey guys, so as you can see, if you look over here, you'll see a lot of oxidization on the clear coat of this pewter model, okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use some Scratch X by Meguiar's and a little microfiber cloth and let's see what we can get out. All right, so I'm gonna start off with this right here. As you can see, it's pretty hazy right there. So just a little dab of that and a little bit of elbow grease. few more seconds okay now what I'm gonna do is just wipe it off and as you can see voila all gone all right next one let's do right here because this one's nice and noticeable all right so a little dab okay So I actually found this model on eBay. Um, the reason why I got it is because this model used to be owned by the actor Nicolas Cage. And when most of his assets were sold um, years ago, this was sold at auction in a lot of his stuff. And I bought this as well as a solid sterling silver Asprey um, 455, I'm sorry, 550 Marinello Ferrari model. Um, the cool thing about this model is it was only sold at the Lamborghini factory in Italy. So I assume Nicolas Cage bought this model when he was buying one of these cars in Italy. Um, all right, so as you can see, we got that all off right there. So I'm gonna start getting it off on these spots as well. But yeah, so this model, I believe it was $450 at the factory back in 2003. Um, and there was a very, very limited model, um, very, very limited production number of them. I found this on eBay and I couldn't pass it up. Um, I got a great deal on it, a couple hundred bucks, which is, you know, steel, so. Now it's part of my collection. This thing weighs like five pounds. Um, and what I did was, when I got it, I wiped it down with alcohol because, you know, everything with COVID, I just wanted to uh, stay safe. So I rubbed it down with alcohol to disinfect it. Um, and then I noticed that maybe the alcohol that I put on there um, really hazed up the clear coat pretty bad on this pewter. So I, um, you know, have to sort of repair my, uh, my damage here. Um, it was a little, you know, oxidized when I got it, but I think that the alcohol rubbing probably made it a lot worse. It's getting very difficult to get into these little nooks in here. It's all pretty oxidized in these little crevices. So I'm going to try and get that somehow. Um, but I'm going to have to figure that out later. All right. So the sides, they're pretty uh, hazy. So let's uh, do a dot there. A little dot there. Just got to give it some elbow grease. This stuff, you know, it works like magic. It's just a little rubbing compound with a polish mixed into it. It's good for, you know, automotive clear coats. So, you know, considering that this is a clear coated metal, 
um, and it's not just straight metal. You know, using a metal polish is not going to really do the trick on this. Um, because there's no metal to polish. You'd have to remove the clear coat on this. And also, there's no... You don't polish brushed metal. As you can see, this is uh, brushed. So, yeah. You don't do that on this. I always find this nice and relaxing. You know, just chilling out after a long day and just... Uh, working on the toys, so, you know, it's nice and fun. Let's see if we made any progress there. Yeah, that looks a lot better. Not perfect, I'll go over that again. Um, but you guys see the point. So I have finished polishing the model with the Scratch X by Meguiar's. And I definitely recommend it because this feels nice and buttery smooth. There's no more oxidized clear coat. Um, and this is actually, it's pretty much like a three in one. I believe it has a compound of polish and it has wax protection. Um, what the wax protection will definitely do for you is it'll enhance that shine. And on a model that is pewter, um, and this one is clear coated, um, the clear coat, you want it to be nice and shiny. So it'll definitely enhance the sheen. You know, as you can see this, uh, is a very, very, very special model. Um, I was only able to find one other one online and it was not for sale. It was basically just showing that it had sold at one point. Um, but as you can see, this is, you know, it's, it's quite the sight to see. This thing is really an extraordinary piece and the history behind it is, you know, even cooler. The fact that it was only available for sale at the factory in Italy. Um, and this was purchased originally by Nicolas Cage and then it, you know, um, got sold at his estate sale auction through Bonhams is, you know, it's, it's quite, um, quite the story. You know, this thing is super duper heavy. Um, I weighed it, it was like five or six pounds. So yeah, I mean, it's, it's absolutely stunning. Um, if you guys have any comments, um, you know, please feel free to write them down below. If you have any questions for me and if you did enjoy this video i'd greatly appreciate it if you would consider checking out my other videos and subscribing to my channel um, as well as giving this a nice thumbs up thank you to everybody who made it this far into the video i hope you enjoyed watching it as much as i enjoyed making it until next time i will see you soon